So I am actually back in the Mojave Desert where I lived for three years before moving back to San Diego. Um, it's kind of surreal being here. I'm here with my wife now. She uh, is back at the hotel. She didn't want to go out hiking out uh, in the middle of nowhere looking for lizards. So she's uh, enjoying watching TV and relaxing. <laughs> That's where I go and hike. Go and hike basically up, up through there, up on the hillside. See lots of different lizards here, so it's a little cool today. We'll see. Uh, it's supposed to get warmer as the day goes on. I think later it's supposed to hit uh, upper 90s, but right now it's about 70, so we'll see. But totally surreal being out here. I mean, this is the hike that I would do every other week or so. See all sorts of lizards and occasionally snakes and stuff, but it was just full of lots of diversity. I'd say seven or eight different lizards out here. Um, at least. Alright, there's the first lizard. Got the sneaky little whip tail. That's like my arch nemesis right there. He goes, yeah, I see you. I know you're after me, but I'm going to stay just out of reach from you and you can't get me. And at the last second, I'm going to dart down a hole. So most of the lizards, when you're out here, you gotta look into the creosote bushes. That's where they hang out. Some of the faster ones, like the zebra tails, the whip tails, they can be out in the middle because they're pretty quick. But a lot of the other ones, you gotta look inside the creosote bushes. That's where they hide. It's so basically every time I'm walking by a creosote bush, I look in the middle, see if I see anything. We'll see. Going to make it up there to the chucks. That's where the uh, chuck walls are at, is up on the hills up there. They love those rocks. I don't love the climb. So it's probably hard to see from the GoPro, but there's actually a lizard on top of that rock right there. It looks pretty good size, looks kind of dark. I'll bet you it's a yellowback spiny. I don't think it's a chuck walla because there needs to be more rocks around them. But we'll see what it is. It's definitely a lizard. You know what? I have my camera with me. I should probably just zoom in on that. Yep, I think it's a yellowback spiny. It's hot. Yeah. I went up a steep hill. Good for you, babe. I'd be dead. I just was saying on the GoPro. Good thing Emily didn't come here. She would have been dying. She wouldn't have liked it. She was the smart one and stayed home. <laughs> oh. Uh, a couple side blotch so far, one yellowback spiny, a couple little whip tails. I'm hoping I get lucky and see a chuck up here. Yeah. So you can see the oh, you can see the rocks the where they like to hang at. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good to just stop and look. Sad thing is I still gotta go up there. Ugh. There's a chuck in that crevice. He wasn't out, I just happened to
come by and see them. Oh, I can move the rock. All right, well, I can move the rock, and I'm pretty sure I can put that rock back. So I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you can put the rock back. And in this case, I believe I can. All right, so don't want him to get away. Wow, there's actually a dead one in there, I think, as well. There's the dead one. The reason I came over here is I saw the poop and they like to hang out. You can find the poop. I won't be able to. He is actually kind of scrawny. Got him. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Now, they do have the flaps of skin. That, that's normal. But look at that. I've never seen that. Wow. All right. Let's try to lift this rock. I bet this thing slid at one time and the chuck wall, the little chuck wall that was underneath there, he may have even moved it or another one moved it a tad and forced, forced it to move. I also got to make it so he can get back under there if he wants. All right, let's see how we can do this. Hopefully he'll stay. No. No. Come here, buddy. Come here. All right. We're going to let you go. We're going to let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I know, buddy. I know. I know. All right, hopefully I made this good so he can get a release here. All right, releasing the chuckwalla back where his little home is at. I hope I put the rock back the way that, oh yeah, he should be able to squeeze in there. Yep. Very cool. See you, buddy. So many of the lizards around here, they love just like these isolated little rocks. I mean, there's another little side blotch, but when I even find horn lizards, I just sit right here and I just scan the rocks and saw several horn lizards like that. And it's like I'm not used to, you, know, you go back to San Diego, I see the horn lizards out on the, you know, dirt and the bushes and the trails, and they're never on the rocks. Another side blush just sitting right there on the rock. Hey, buddy. Oh. That's the biggest thing to keep an eye out for, at least here in the Mojave, is, uh, Look on the tops of every rock. These little isolated rock outcrops like this. Lizards love to hang out on them. Especially when they're dark. 
Although a lot of times with the horn lizards, I'd see them on kind of these darker ones, but with the kind of lighter pattern, almost like the tiger pattern, sand pattern. Oh, I saw a zebra tail. A little zebra tail. Dang, that thing is tiny. There's the little rock and he's sitting on top of it. I'm gonna try to get a picture. There's a little baby zebra tail. Focus. Cute little guy. Oh wow, what's up? There's something up on there, some sort of bird. What is that thing? I think it's a bird. Here, making the noise. Wow. Oh, is it a burrowing owl? That might be a burrowing owl. I think it is. I believe this is a burrowing owl. It's the first one I've seen over in this area. It's super pretty. Very cool. Hey buddy. There was another one over there too. Super cool. Sure they got probably a home right in here. Probably living in here. Oh yeah, they're definitely living in here. Oh, that'd be why. There's a little baby right there. Try to get a quick little video and get out of here, but there's the little chick. Really hard to see. squeeze himself into a little hole there but that's the burrowing owl chick wow never seen that there's another chick right there right there baby All right, you stay safe. Don't let those coyotes get you. Wow, super cool. All right, well, I just stumbled on this guy. So there's the desert iguana. My uh, GoPro, I think, got too much uh, overheated, so that shut down. But there's the desert iguana. Okay.